All right, guys, in this episode here, we are uh, got a little bit of a problem. I got, um, I took the uh, fuel tank out. I had it custom made to fit. And I took my um, my fill line and I, I clamped it up with some vice grips. And I took this J plug and filled it up to block that end. And uh, I installed the uh, sender unit. And I got um, I got a pressure unit from the fill line. Not I'm not for the fill line. I'm sorry, the pickup line. This will be the line. I mean, when I'm when it's actually in use, this whole assembly will be gone, and a fuel line will just be tapped into there and run to the engine. But uh, you can see I got two pounds of air, just under two pounds of air. It's leaking. I had two pounds of air. And uh, I found a bunch of holes. Uh, nothing at the bottom. Obviously, he must have had one there. They said they, and I see one there, but it's not leaking. But it's leaking here, and I'll show you a little spray bottle. You see that? And I got a leak here. Yeah. Uh, you get the point. You know, it's just a little bit of soap and some water, and you can see it. Only at two pounds, just can't take two pounds of air. So I got one, two, three, uh, four, five. I got five pinholes all on the top. Um, I did, uh, water, uh, check it, and so didn't he. He said it, you know, it didn't leak. He fixed all the leaks, you know, as they were building it. And, um, then I saw on YouTube, you know, this is why, guys, I, I say so much about, uh, how invaluable YouTube is. Uh, guys like me, you put information out there when you're doing a project like this, you know, word gets around. I want to give a shout out to uh, Born Again Boating. Uh, he's been a godsend with all his um, information. Uh, check his channel out. Um, and, uh, you know, he showed me uh, or he showed everybody online on how to, um, you know, do a, a pressure check. And I'm only putting two pounds of air. I don't want to put any more air than two pounds. I, I don't think you, you want... Well, the guy on YouTube, he said, um, don't put no more than two and a half pounds of air. But I've also read you should test it up to four pounds of air. Um, I don't want to put four pounds of air in it. But um, I'll, let, uh, I'll let this device go back with the tank and he can check it and weld it as you know, he sees fit. And if he wants to put four pounds of air in it, then go for it. At least if it pops there, he could fix it right away, right? So anyway, uh, this is my uh, this is my problem. This is the things you run into. So I, I bought this on eBay. I want to say this assembly here did not come with these reduced fittings. Um, this is three quarters all the way down to three eighths. I got a local hydraulic store right around the corner from where I live, and they hooked me up and uh, it gave me that uh, transition piece. And then this goes, uh, this is my pickup line down to the bottom of the tank. Uh, you fill it up with air here, you give it short blasts of air, and uh, you want a low pressure uh, gauge. Um, and uh, that's how you check it. I mean, everything's sealed up. The, the um, sending unit is sealed up, and the uh, vent is sealed up, and obviously the, the, uh, the fill valve is sealed up, and... Then you just get your uh, soapy water and start squirting away. There was no uh, leaks at the bottom. Not on the sides, just around the top. Oh, yeah, I got one here, too. So that's that's uh, six. Anyway, hey, this is uh, me, and this is me trying to show you what you got to go through. Now, I'm going to give a shout-out to whoever built this tank for me here locally in Daytona. And uh, let's see if he does right. By fixing it I'm pretty sure he will um, there's not gonna be an issue but um, we'll see I'll let you know next episode be good